Now, well, obviously, Lonnie, you've been on the show before, and we've played many of the games that uh, previously previously existed. End zone. <laughs> 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 And so I was trying to figure out what would be the best game to play with you. Now, last week, we attempted a game, uh, and this was a pre-recorded episode, but it was the last episode that was released. We attempted a game uh, that I've invented that immediately went off the rail. And I, I want to try it again, uh, not, because, not because I think it's going to go any better, because I feel like it deserves at least two strikes before it's out. Uh, and so three strikes would be ideal, but depending on how this goes, we'll see. So, uh, Lonnie, this is a new game for The Andy Show. And the game is called That's Bullshit. Uh, so That's Bullshit is a game where Lonnie, you, guest, will always win, no matter the outcome. But you tell us a, the greatest story of your life, right? A, a fantastic tale that you can think of. And you can either lie and tell us bullshit, or you can tell us a true story. Now, once you finish your story, it is up to the three of us to guess whether that is a true story or that story was bullshit. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. We're already so, off to a better start. How many stories? <laughs> just like one story? Just or? one. So you're going to think of, you can take a minute to think, but you're going to tell us a story that either you can make something up that's crazy or you can tell us a real story, but it's up to us to guess whether this happened or it did not. All right. I've got something to tell. Great. Great. All right. So, uh, Let's see. One time uh, when uh, me and my brother were little kids, we thought it would be funny to stuff all of our clothes with every stuffed animal we own. And uh, we're just looking huge. We put sweats on and then just stuffed animals everywhere, like Santa Claus costume. And then we decided to walk down the street because we thought it would be hilarious. So we walked down our block, all these stuffed animals. And then uh, one time uh, when we were doing that, we only did it once, but when we did it, my brother's friend drove by, started laughing at us, and we didn't, didn't feel so funny after that. Oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, boy. All right, well, here's the deal, Lonnie. Andy, I have, are, are you pleased with how this is going so far? I mean, it did, yes. This is how the game should go. <laughs> I can tell another one, too, if we want to do, like, multiple stories. <laughs> Sure, yeah. you know what? Let's, let's, let's do, do one more. true story. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but you guys, you gotta guess that one first. We'll, we'll guess them both. You, you tell yeah. the second story, and then we'll guess story one is either true or bullshit, story two okay. is either true or bullshit. Okay, story two. So, um, I wanted to bungee jump for the longest time. That hasn't happened for the longest time. Because I really like trying things that I haven't tried before, you know? I just kind of like having experiences. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, like if somebody's talking about something, I just like to know, like, yeah, that's what that's like. So, I wanted to bungee jump, and then I, what I heard... A, what, a human, what a human behavior. <laughs> there's this bungee jumping thing near where I live, and I heard that... There, once a year, there's a day where if you bungee jump naked, you get to go for free. So I'm like, perfect. So I did it and it was free and saved some money and we got to bungee jump naked. Man. And it was great. So that's the uh, second story. I oh, want to boy. start with story two. Let's start with story two. Uh, we can work backwards. I don't know how much it costs to go bungee jump. It's like a, but, yeah. I don't know. Look at him, by the way, think, drinking what water. Kind of, water. What, first of all, what kind of liability? What kind of liability are you opening yourself up to as a bungee jumping organization to put naked people on the bungee cord? <laughs> so for free, like they, I would make somebody pay more to go naked on my bungee cord if I was operating a cash business. With the bungee cord, I'm I'm guessing number two is, but if you're stupid enough to own a bungee jumping uh, business, maybe that would make sense to you. So I'm gonna say number th number two is true. So Pat comes out uh, anti bungee jumping co corporations. I'm gonna That's, say it right here, guys. Not a fan. Bungee jumping companies. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> the official the official stance of Pat Fogarty is fuck bungee jumping companies. 
So, uh, Joe, would you like yeah. to go next on guessing whether story two is true or bullshit? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, bullshit. Okay. Now, here's the deal. I have been thinking about this for the last 20 seconds uh, <laughs> since you finished the story, um, and something popped into my head because at first I said it was bullshit, but then something popped into my head, which was that I for somehow seeing an episode of one of those like bachelor or bachelorette or something where they went naked bungee jumping <laughs> and i want to say it was it was in the pacific northwest like it looked like it was raining it was over a lake <laughs> babbling brook and so because of that Lonnie's and also turf <laughs> and also yeah because from the Pacific Northwest. They do apparently do naked bungee jumping there. And Lonnie is one to have uh, very strange experiences as he described because he wants to know about them. Yes. I'm gonna say it's true. All right, so it's not true. Uh, however, uh, however, dude. like I, I have lately had this desire to go bungee jumping and I'm planning on going sometime this summer. But you don't wanna pay. Well, and you, don't want to, you, so, want, and you want to do it naked. Go naked. I just found <laughs> out. Rather go naked than pay. Well, I probably yeah, but so I just found out this weekend. <laughs> my dad, the dentist, told me. He was like, by the way, <laughs> he's like, I heard there's like a promotion that if you go naked, you go for free, and they have it once a year. And I was like, what? And I would totally do it. So I've been meaning to look into that to see if it's actually a thing. Well, you and you are if, willing this into existence right now. Yeah. So you're I'm gonna do it. it. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So then let's let's. If, does everyone remember the first story, story about the stuff? Story animals? one is true. Yes. That's true. Right. Pat can... says true. Joe. Yeah. Uh, true. Now, here's the thing. When you were telling a story, I thought true, true, true. Until you said every time we went outside and did this, our friends would come by. And then you corrected yourself and said we've only done it one time. Ooh. So because of that mistake in the story, I'm gonna say bullshit. <laughs> it was true. <laughs> Oh mother! Yeah. How did I, get that? Um, I I see what you mean. That that was just me stumbling my words. Just another uh, classic Lonnie setup. Yeah, that was just me stumbling my words. <laughs> no, that was that was true. Two out of two wrong. So wait, That's so important. I'm curious. You said that the scorn or the laughter that your neighbor uh, presented to you discouraged you from doing it again and made you feel bad. What reaction were you hoping to achieve? from dressing up in a bunch of stuffed animals and making yourselves appear larger than you were. We were pretty young. We just thought it was funny. We were just- And they, and they, just, they laughing. We were just giggling that people would look at us and be like, oh, those, those guys, you know, up to no good. Oh, those guys. <laughs> up to no good. So yeah, and then somebody laughed at us and the, the humor suddenly dried up. Mm. Sorry. You were you were hoping people would admire Wait. your cleverness and not actually no, no, no. laugh. Yeah. At Back it. up again. Back up again. <laughs> you you stuffed your clothes full of stuffed animals and paraded around Vancouver or wherever the fuck you live, Cologne. 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 Yeah. And then when people <laughs> laughed at you, you grew tired of the whole scenario. Yeah. Okay. All right, just wanted to make sure I all had right. all the facts. <laughs> yeah. You were hoping for admired. An admiring <laughs> Yes. Applause, you wanted, even. You wanted people to look at you and go, <laughs> God damn, look at those guys. Yeah, we, we were so young. You're really like, doing it. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely way to pass the afternoon. Yeah. So, <laughs> Lonnie, it's Lonnie, a pretty good game, a, I guess. You're a tremendous treasure to the universe. You're you the are. sweetest, most wonderful person, and I love you so much, and I'm so happy that you're on the show this week. And thank you for telling us these ridiculous stories. Uh, and yeah, please, we always love having you back. Um, everybody, again, we have a lot of stuff coming out. You can check out the stuff that's on uh, the Black Veil socials right now in regards to Restitch These Wounds. We've got a, uh, Sweet Blasphemies come out. There's so many cool things that are out right now. So uh, thank you for supporting us. Thank you, Lonnie, for being uh, the best damn friend uh, man dressed as a stuffed animal could ever have. Thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> <laughs>